Hey guys, it's Coral. Welcome back to my channel, Coral Joy Travel. <sighs> Today I am going to talk about the not pleasant part of buying a house and moving. And I know there are more than just one unpleasant part, but this is the part that I'm stuck in right now. And this is the part that is just consuming me and I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm just frustrated and there's nothing I can do. We've gotten the title looked at. We've gotten the inspection done. We've paid our earnest money. We've done all the things that we need to do. We've given all of the information. I mean, every ounce of information that the bank asks for, which is a lot of information get everything organized, taxes, retirement, IRA, 529, just get all that information ready. Everything's done, except we haven't heard anything about the appraisals or the financing, and we have one week left. I'm so tired. I am just so tired. It is the beginning of April, 2021. My family and I put an offer on a house in Vermont three weeks ago that was accepted. And, you know, I think people think, like, if you're not familiar with buying, selling houses, you think, okay, someone accepted your offer. That means it's your house and you just have to figure out a day to move. If only if it was that simple. It's not that simple, unfortunately. So as a part of a contingency, we have to get some um, appraisals met. And we are right now in the process of doing that with our bank. And it's one of those things that we as the buyers don't have control over. And this is, this is like hard for me because I, re I really do like, well, not that I say I like to be in control because that's not really it. What the truth is, I know that if I'm in control, things will happen. Things will be completed. But when you don't have the control and you're really relying on other people who have no idea who you are, um, they know nothing about you, and they, you have to trust in them that they're going to do work for you in the amount of time that you need to get this work done. Because oftentimes there are contingencies where you have to fulfill these requirements by certain dates. And that's kind of where we're at. And we have eight more days to get our appraisal met, our contingency. And we have one appraisal done and we are supposed to have another appraisal done on our house up in Vermont, but I haven't heard about when that's going to be, if it's going to happen. And I don't know what that means. If that contingency isn't met, what does that mean for us when we are, you know, trying to get this house? And it's so frustrating. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm a slave to my phone where I'm constantly checking emails to see if people are responding to emails, phone calls, texts. We are in a portal with our bank and trying to message on the portal and not getting answers. Oh my gosh. When I owned Coral Joy Travel, the travel agency that focused on Disney, which is not open anymore, but when I owned that, I thrived in communicating with my clients. Communication is key, okay? And if someone reached out to me, I would respond to them, you know, within hours, um, unless it was midnight, well, then it would be the next morning. But you know what I mean? It, we're in a situation where I, I, we have not gotten information. We have not gotten a response from people at this bank. I will not say the bank's name. I really do like this bank, but I'm getting irritated. Um, it's been all about a week since we've heard from them. We're trying to call, email, text, and still not getting any information. And it is frustrating. <laughs> So I'm constantly, like I said, I'm constantly looking at my emails and checking emails and 
I'm telling you, it's making me crazy. And I've been doing this for this piece of this transaction for, I think it's going on three weeks. We had our first appraisal done really fast. Still have no idea what the house appraised for. That's kind of an important <laughs> answer. Still don't know, but we're supposed to, like I said, we're supposed to get another appraisal and I'm not sure that we are and I'm not sure what that means. I really do want this house in Vermont. I really, really, really do. It's kind of like my dream home and I would be really irritated if I didn't get it because of someone's negligence, someone else's. That would make me crazy. And quite frankly, guys, I really don't need to get any more crazy than I am. Moving is so stressful. It is not fun. And I keep saying I'm never going to do this again. But I'm trying to be positive about it. I really am. But like, oh my gosh, when you don't have control and you need answers and you're never getting them, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot for someone. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And I... Uh, I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. I mean, I know this is part of the process of buying, selling, moving. Moving can can create a lot of chaos. Excuse the fingers. Moving can cre create chaos and divorce. <laughs> and we're not going to be doing that, okay? But it is such a stressful piece of life when you go through a move. I mean, there's just like... This appraisal thing and not getting answers, that's just one piece of it. it. Trying to get a moving company is another piece. Packing is another piece. Um, you know, what's it gonna be, what's gonna happen if I don't get this house and and I do have to move, you know, I'm moving, I sold this house. We're gonna be closing on this house um, in the end of June. So what happens then? I am going to be homeless. <laughs> that's not funny. But it's a possibility. So there's just so many stressors. And this is just the one piece. And this is where I'm at. And honestly, guys, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't want to make a video this week because I wasn't going to be my normal, happy, joyful self. And well, the reality is I'm not always happy, joyful, especially when things like this are happening. So my good friend, Jen, Jen LaForge. If you don't know Jen LaForge, I mean, I'm sure you do, but go check out her channel. I'll leave a link somewhere over somewhere. Anyway, Jen said, listen, why don't you just be real? Just be real. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to be real. Um, I'm going to be real because this is the real. This is the real deal. This is how it can happen sometimes, doesn't always but these are pieces. I mean, there are, you know, from from signing that contract saying, yes, I'm going to buy this house and the seller saying, yes, you can buy this house to finding a closing date, that whole stretch, it is a stretch of stress, guys. <laughs> and, um, I'm in that stretch right now. Uh, we don't have a closing date, obviously, yet for our home in Vermont because of all of these other contingencies that need to be checked off the list. So what have I done this week? Well, I'm continuing to pack. You can see boxes, empty shelves. Isn't this great? I'm in the basement. So I continue to pack to kill some time. Uh, apparently now I've decided that baking is important. Since I don't have answers, I bake cookies. It smells so good in my house. So I don't look at my cell phone every minute and refresh to see if someone from my bank has emailed and responded to us, which as of yet hasn't happened in over a week. So I probably should just stop refreshing and stop holding my breath. So I bake. So I bake, look at these beautiful cookies I baked. They're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. But yeah, I, I did warn my husband that if we gain 20 pounds, it is my fault because I apparently don't know how to deal with this 
purgatory that we seem to be in. It sucks. So I guess my advice is bake, take some walks or go on some bike rides or exercise in some way, distract your mind the best that you can. Call a friend. You need a lifeline out there and a friend can sometimes calm you down a little bit. Um, but then just, I bet, you know, best you can just try to keep plugging through what you have to get through with work and with packing and with family and all of the other things that do not stop during this time. And, you know, try, try to keep your eyes on the prize. And hopefully everything will work out. Guys, I'm, I'm hoping if I come on here and things went sideways because this communication problem, that'll be an interesting follow-up. I really hope my follow-up says all is well. We are going to close on our house in Vermont and life will be good. But I have a feeling I won't know that for at least another week. But won't that be a fun follow-up? Oh, won't it be? If you have any tips for me, I mean, what else can I do? I really don't know. But if you have an idea, any, anything else that I can do to get through this process and maybe somehow get my bank to communicate, not my bank, but the bank we're trying to go through to communicate with me, I would love to hear some tips. Anyway, that I what I wanted to say was the people um, buying our house in here in New York, this transaction has been, knock on wood, so simple and smooth compared to our transaction in Vermont. Like it is night and day. It's night and day. I don't know why. I do feel like, you know, my husband and I tried to be very accommodating with the new buyers because we're super excited for them. They're a young family. They're moving in with little kids and I think they have one on the way. And I remember being a young family buying a house, super exciting, but super nerve wracking. And so we're, we're trying to just be very accommodating to them and, you know, um, get them situated in a very calm, efficient, sweet, kind, communicative manner. And this experience up in Vermont is like completely the opposite. So I'm, I'm very grateful that we don't have two crazy transactions going on. It's just one. Thank goodness. Because I know some of you, you got two going on and that's, like, I think I would be crazy. I mean, we, we know I am a little crazy, but I think I'd be crazier. That, I don't know. I'd be baking cookies and brownies. Whoa, girl, that'd be bananas. But anyway, uh, I'll keep you posted, of course, because this is my lifeline. YouTube is my lifeline. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble. <sighs> thank you. And, um... If you have any ideas for new videos for me, let me know in the comments below because I probably would do better than rambling about my emotions. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video and cross your fingers that we get some communication soon. Just cross that. Thank you. Bye, guys.